Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the ticker feed family guys. So what we're going to be talking about today is Fastly the company, Fastly customers, uh, how Motley Fool had a few things to say about Fastly here recently, how Fastly and Ethereum are working together, and then we'll finish this video with uh, Fastly's chart. So we'll do a quick little analysis on that. So guys, welcome to the family. Welcome to this video. I really do appreciate you tuning in. Let's go ahead and get started. So for those that don't know Fastly, I'm assuming or from my understanding, the majority of the people that are uh, tuning in know about Fastly. But for those that don't, let me read this quick little snippet. So it says, our po powerful edge cloud platform empowers developers to run, secure and deliver websites and applications as close to the users as possible to create unforgettable experience at global scales, right? So they're a cloud computing system company, right? So they have a whole bunch of different solutions and they're in different types of categories. So what I wanted to point out is that they're in travel and hospitality, financial services, online education, online retail. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, right? So that's a, that's what you want to hear, right? Why why should I invest into this company or, or tell me about this company? What makes them special or differentiate between other people, right? So they're in these different sectors, but it only gets better. So uh, I wanted to show a quick little experience that Shopify and Fastly had amongst each other. So look, again, Shopify is a leading cloud-based multi-channel commerce platform designed for small and medium-sized businesses, okay? So, real-time transparency for real-time troubleshooting. So Shopify needed a way to monitor site performance in real-time. With their previous CDN, logs were delayed anywhere from 4 to 24 hours following an event. Troubleshooting problems and evaluating performance tests was difficult extremely due to the delay. So on Fastly, Shopify can now access a comprehensive real-time historical dashboard and real-time streaming. Okay, so I wanted to point that out first, right? So that's a quick little uh, mention from uh, Shopify, but let's let's be a little more specific. So what does that mean exactly? So with Shopify, they uh, had a, a customer that wanted to be part of the Super Bowl, okay, called Goldie Blocks. So a Shopify customer creates and sells engineering toys designed for girls, which won a coveted ad spot during the 2014 Super Bowl, okay? So just a few years ago, this is how much they've... Um, work together so their ad aired in in the third quarter of the game and in seconds Goldie blocks experience an 18,000 percent increase in traffic so that kind of spike that can crash the small company site period I mean there's nothing they can do about it they just don't have the capacity to be able to protect themselves right so thanks to Fastly shielding feature, Shopify and Goldie Blocks online store handed the, handled the spike with maintaining a quick, responsive, and reliable experience with an enormous boost for the company, right? They've been keeping up for them with the momentum ever since, right? So I wanted to point that out because again, Shopify is a massive company that has I mean, they're almost equivalent in, in different types of terms, right, uh, to Amazon, where they're just, they're working with so many different customers on a back-to-back uh, -back basis over and over and over, right? And so you clearly need some help with that type of volume. So they're looking towards Fastly. And so far, from what I've read and what I've seen so far on this real-time analytics between the two, they are um, right on page and so Fastly is just taking care of them and so for me as somebody that's looking into this company that's exactly what I want to see you've got a name brand company with its proof of the type of technology that it has and that it can handle it. and so again that's what I wanted to see so again um, something to think about and, and to keep in mind so also I wanna, wanted to point out you got BuzzFeed and the New York Times so it says on election night, the New York Times had 2 million concurrent viewers and their readers enjoyed flawless real-time updates across devices. Then you've got BuzzFeed, now 50% faster. If page load times go from 0.5 seconds to 1.5 seconds, you lose twice as many users. And they are both currently using Fastly. So I just wanted to point that out. So check this out. I mean, Motley Fool is talking about them, so clearly they're doing something right. So this is what they say. So with Fa uh, Fastly's platform, it allows developers to build and run applications at the edge of the internet. 
This is more involved than simple content delivery, and, it, and it's especially critical in time-sensitive scenarios like video games or certain LOT applications, right? Fastly's management sees a near-term annual market opportunity of $35.4 billion, but edge computing use cases are still emerging. As this industry evolves, I believe Fastly could be a winner for patent investors, oh, patient investors. Sorry about that. So check this out. I mean, think about it. I mean, this this world with streaming and whatnot is only continuing to grow, right? We just got Fubo TV on out, right? Hulu, Disney, whatever the case is. And so as you can see, that's what they're trying to mention. I mean, they're just getting started. So I wanted to point this out first, just for the brand name talking about them. And then again, what their platform allows you to do. What I wanted to point out is that Infura or Consense SYS is a venture production studio building decentralized applications and developer end user tool blockchains, okay? So Infura works with Ethereum. So in December 2017, you had these things called Crypto Kitties, which is a project born for, um, basically it was, it was launched for the first online games to use Ethereum blockchain. Anyways, their traffic spiked like crazy, doubling from 2 billion to 4 billion, okay? So when this happened and they had all this volume, it was pretty crazy. They had to look for other people, okay? So let me read this a little quick. So the cryptocurrency prediction market raised 12 million to 10 minute in 10 minutes and filecoin a blockchain based storage network raised 200 million in 60 minutes okay and fear went from 20 million requests a day at the beginning of 2017 to over 10 billion requests today this staggering 500x increase naturally led to questions of scale so Infura turned to fastly's edge cloud platform in order to continue supporting massive traffic while providing a platform for developers so uh if that was confusing this is this is my point so in 2017, uh, Infura and Ethereum were working together. Their volume continued to increase. They needed to look towards someone else, okay? So they uh, went directly to Fastly, which allowed them to uh, work with this massive traffic. So I just wanted to point that out. And that's what drove it home for me with the, uh, the situation with Ethereum and Fastly. So for this one, for me personally, this is pretty easy. This is real quick uh, chart analysis. I mean, if you just look just a year ago, you can see, I mean, just look at the 52 week high. It was $136.50, right? And we're, I mean, basically almost at half at that right now, right? And so today was a great day, by the way. Huge green, 9.35%. I mean, I, I would almost average that as 10%. <laughs> I mean, it's just awesome. So here's the thing, right? Here's what I want you to uh, notice or look at. Right now, to me personally, looking at this chart, I'm saying this is averaging down for those that bought in where it costs more. I mean, this is an opportunity. I mean, it's going to fluctuate, but you're buying, you're buying still at the dip. I mean, in October, you're looking at $126, right? February, $117, and then the dip happened, right? So it just dropped. And so when you're looking at the trend line, it's showing you it's going to continue to rise back up. So to me, this is a perfect opportunity to take full advantage of this company and be able to, you know, do exactly what you want. If you're trying to average down or if you're trying to buy in, it's a win-win. So anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you out. I spent a lot of time on it. And uh, I really do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this video. And as always, guys, welcome to the Ticker Feed family.